Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you don't know, my name is Pauline and this is Fact or Fit Phobia. So on this particular episode, so to speak, I will be talking about toxic people, how to notice them, how to spot them, how to avoid them, period. So we're going to look at 10 toxic traits in people and ways in which we can avoid them. So tip one, the gossipers. How to avoid gossipers. Now, Clearly, like if you work in a certain place where you've got like a staff room, avoid the staff room. If you know that you've got that certain person who always calls you with negativity, avoid, avoid, avoid. A great quote goes as follows. Great minds discuss, average ones discuss events and small minds discuss people. That tells you simply that people who are on the gossiping trend they are small minded they have nothing to do as they say misery needs company so avoid 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 that's number two temperamental people you know but you know what you know what you know you know the temperamental type who if it's not if the friendship's not according to their terms and conditions or people who feel that everything needs to be done their way avoid them avoid them avoid them or if you have to tread on eggshells around them then they're the temperamental type so avoid 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 and how you do that is simply lock off your phone no bother don't bother don't bother don't bother uh picking up your phone don't entertain their shit number three the victims the ones who are constantly portraying like you are the problem oh my god on the phone you haven't spoken to me we haven't spoken for ages oh my gosh you haven't called me you don't care for me every time when they call you they got a victim support report to report to you how you avoid them simply don't cave into their crap like do you know what i mean that's how you avoid that number four the self-absorbed people oh my gosh they only call you or they only find your connect when they need to boast about what they're doing in life for example i just brought a new car can you believe i just got a tesla and it's all about them and then when you're trying to tell them what you what your achievement is they try to cut you cut you thin oh okay so you're doing a new course okay so they've got that kind of nature self-absorbed types we need to avoid avoid how we do that again <laughs> do not Ox. do not entertain them do not entertain it just cut it off keep them in keep them in the different we should have different friends for different things to keep them in that bracket and maybe if they are so self-absorbed in their self maybe they don't even need to even connect with other human beings you know i get you get me Number five we're getting there we're getting there so these are the individuals the envious type oh my god the envious types avoid 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 how we deal with the envious types like we, sh we stop telling them stuff because we know deep down inside they are not happy for us the envious types they have the evil eye they don't want to see us succeed they only want to see them winning they're not interested in anyone else succeeding around them how we avoid them say that simply like we just lock it off lock them off and it can be family members as well isn't it like let's face it blood fire <laughs> these are the these are the manipulators oh my gosh they suck energy out of you they drain everything out of you they wring you dry they're just like the british weather if you can see around me it's raining uh they're all sorts of seasons one minute they're summer one minute they're hot one minute they're cold they completely manipulate everything about them they drain every ounce of energy from you so these manipulators please like you know what plead the blood and pass like you know what i mean you gotta pray for them you gotta keep it moving oh the dominator like if you're doing something or you are they dominate in every area if they come to your christening they must take over they have to be seen they want everybody to know they bought your child a two thousand pound jacket and you know it's all about them and it's 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 all about their entrance if they're your bridesmaid in their wedding in your wedding please just lock it off do, do not even have them around because they'll be the ones to like try and take over it always has to be about them they have to have the grand grand entrance they don't want to support the bride the dominator 
oh lord have mercy the dominator is the ones we the toxic trait in them is just so strenuous they strain they dominate it's all about them they've arrived they're the divas of the friendship groups you know it's all about them and we all we all had that kind of person in high school with a bitch ass attitude that's them so number eight is the really dangerous type of toxic trait that a person could have and that is the twisted type the ones that are the storytellers they don't care to make up the story about fatal attraction they don't care to make up the fact that they've had an abortion they've had a miscarriage they've had it all this year it's all about them the twistedness just to get your attention just to get you to be around them almost to the fact that how they could even run a story about somebody endangering them and that can make you in turn hate the person so twisted so yeah beware the next one number nine we're slowly getting there number nine is the most for me the judgmental type Oh, Lord, have mercy. The judgmentals. The judgmentals are the ones who turn around and they tell you, no, 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 no. Don't do it this way. Don't. I, I don't like that. I don't like um, Sonia. She's, we're just using Sonia as an example. If I know a Sonia, this is not about you. Okay. But anyway, Sonia is uh is can you believe her she's sending her child to a private school i could never do that and then at the at the top tip of the hat she'll be the same one later on turn around yeah i'm saying i can i can afford it now my child is going to but she done judged the hell out of everybody else and judging the hell out of everything that everybody else is doing but when it's them doing it it ain't an issue so yeah the judgmental types and how we avoid the judgmental types like you can't teach an old dog new tricks so a lot you can do because they're judgmental as hell that leaves me with number 10 the last final one is the arrogance the arrogant arrogant individual who acts like their shit don't stink quite frankly and who who acts as if you know everything is beneath them you know they they got their nose up about everything the arrogance and once again how we avoid them if if so now we've completed we've done our one to ten so this is just a breakdown on how we avoid it so we summed it all up how do we avoid these people i know i i added little jams in here and there how to avoid but it's quite frankly this, this is your life we only got one life to live and quite frankly if you feel as if somebody is not benefiting to your life or not being a beneficiary to your life like cut it off just cut it off you know you go your way they go their way i'm very happy in the fact that how a lot of the people who i deem as being toxic in my life they tend to fade away and once you start um embodying positive maturity you te you tend to lose some of these sort of people we spoke about the arrogance the judgmental the people who you know the we we even we even got the sly friends we 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 touched upon a little bit of it but um you know the sly type of people who you know you they want to do things slyly so anyway a, a blessing is the fact that how these people they will revolve from your life naturally because the more positivity like like they always say the good always outweighs the bad so in that sense that how once you things will start going for you your life is flowing they tend to fiddle out because you know what the good always the good always conquers the bad let's face it so yeah i hope this this um roundup of how to avoid toxic people it has been a great insight for you um if you like more stuff like this please comment below and because you're probably thinking okay you're, you've jumped from weight loss what's going on but what is going on is the fact that how weight loss and these things come with mind body and soul if your mind ain't right your body can't be right so it all comes as a package so yeah as i work on myself i work on my mind my body and my soul so yeah if this is more what you're about please subscribe you know join the fam the fact to fit fam and yeah have a blessed 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 time god bless take care